Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Ricky Matthews. A view from Tower Cam 10 this morning shows the rain on our camera lens. You can see kind of the obscured view thanks to all that mist and drizzle. We've still got a little bit of a decent view. Okay, it's not a great view at all. Looking across Elizabeth River here towards Waterside, towards Norfolk from our tower on downtown Portsmouth's uh, transmitter site here at our station, about 300 feet up in the air. We'll take a look at the radar and the satellite picture, and certainly a good amount of clouds and some rain across Virginia and North Carolina this morning. Zooming into Hampton Roads and parts of Northeast North Carolina, you can see pretty much from the Franklin area stretching east through Suffolk into Chesapeake and parts of Virginia Beach, a little heavier band of rain moving through those areas. More on the eastern shore from Accomack County and also on the peninsula here into Pocosin and Hampton. There's that heavier band I was talking about, pretty much from Franklin east through the city of Suffolk and into parts of Chesapeake right near the airport there, seeing some uh, moderate rainfall this morning. We'll continue to see that on and off through the morning hours. Then then into the afternoon, a little bit less overall coverage of the rain. I don't think we'll see as much as we're going to see this morning, but still we'll have a chance for a little bit of some mist and drizzle even into the early part of the afternoon. This evening, though, things start to improve. We're looking a little better by 8 o'clock tonight and through the overnight. Uh, partly cloudy skies to at times most cloudy skies can be expected with temperatures largely in the low 70s. Now for Monday, a spotty shower or two is possible here in northeast North Carolina. Rain chance though only around 20% for Monday and then for Tuesday looking pretty good. Temperatures return though back into the 90s. We saw a good amount of rain yesterday in many spots. Here's what it looks like across the area for rainfall totals from yesterday. Notice just to the east of uh, Norfolk here, right on the Virginia, Nor or excuse me, on the Norfolk and Virginia Beach border, a uh, good amount of rain there, almost two to three inches. Same thing for parts of Suffolk into Isle of Wight and parts of Chesapeake. We'll take a wider view and show you Matthews also had a good amount of rain, two to three inches there. Here's some of the uh, local stats that we pulled together for you. Suffolk, one reporting station reporting almost three and a half inches of rain. Suffolk, uh, certainly the big winner in the rainfall department yesterday. A little over two inches in Chesapeake, 1.62 in Gloucester, and around an inch and a half in Norfolk. So through the afternoon, temperatures in the 70s can be expected. Some mist, some drizzle early this morning, then a little bit less this afternoon. Not a, certainly a sunny afternoon, but we'll see a little bit better conditions this afternoon than what we're seeing this morning. Temperatures this evening in the mid-70s and then cooling down tonight into the low 70s with a wind out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our Humidity level, it's going to be lower tomorrow morning. Enjoy it while you can because it will be climbing back up Tuesday and into Wednesday. Look at this, the dew point's getting back up to around 70. That's in the very humid category. As we look at the rainfall chances, they'll be also increasing Wednesday and into Thursday as the cold front approaches our area and then kind of stalls out for a day or two, leading to those rain chances towards Thursday. Uh, in terms of temperatures, our average is around 90 degrees for this time of the year. Today, certainly far below average for our region. It's 74 for a high temperature. 83 tomorrow, back into the 90s on Tuesday with heat index values, thanks to that humidity returning into the upper 90s. If uh, for some reason you decided today is the day you want to go jump into the ocean, I would not recommend it. One, because the weather's not too great. Two, because there is a high risk of rip current from Virginia Beach all the way south to the Buxton area. Thanks to that wind out of the east, it'll be gusting up to 20 miles per hour today with some cloudy, misty conditions tonight, mostly cloudy with temperatures in the low 70s. Here's your extended forecast. Notice we go into Wednesday and Thursday. That's our next rain chance after today, of course. Heading into Friday, 40% chance for some showers. Lower rain chances right now as it appears next weekend.